Greetings colleagues, this is Jason Yeldell of Yeldell Scientific. Today we want to demo a brand new Microsoft Excel add-in entitled as If Then that was recently developed by Yeldell Scientific. If Then is a powerful, simple, and fun Microsoft Excel add-in that allows you to create your own custom logical operations based on data existing in a current Microsoft Excel file. If Then will allow you to sit back and let Microsoft Excel perform on your behalf using the simple concept of file names, triggers, and actions. If Then gives users a productivity advantage by empowering them with the ability to set up awesome automated actions and obtain actionable information from an existing Excel file without ever having to open that said Excel file. Configuring an automated logical operation in If Then is very simple and consists of three easy steps. Number one, select an Excel file that you want to follow. Number two, select a trigger condition using the easy to use point and click icons. And lastly, number three, assign an automated action to occur if the trigger condition is met in the Excel file that you're currently following. To begin, I simply click on Get Started. Immediately, I'm presented with an icon to follow an Excel file. Clicking this icon launches the standard Windows Browse dialog. Here I can select a folder that houses the file that I'm looking for. In reality, this can be a standard folder or even a shared drive or SharePoint location if the file is communal. I select the file and click OK. I am now following that said file and I can now select an if statement, otherwise known as a trigger. If then comes preloaded with various trigger conditions to select from, such as if the last author of the file is not X, then do Y. If the values in column X equal Y, then perform Z. If the value of cell X equals Y, then perform Z, etc, etc. In this example, I'll choose if values in column X equal Y, then I want to perform Z. In a typical work environment, Microsoft Excel spreadsheets are often used as trackers to keep track of project progress and to open line items. In addition, some work settings use other applications such as SharePoint, SAP, or TrackWise that export data into Excel format for further analysis and, and manipulation. In one such real-world case, a spreadsheet contained various rows and columns in order to track the progress of computer system testing. We can see an example of that file on the screen now. So in setting up my logical operation, I simply create a name for this particular logical operation. I'll call it Outstanding task items. I'm then presented with the fields to actually choose the details and variables for my logical operation. So basically I chose if values in column X equal Y then perform Z. So it's all laid out for me. So I basically just input the information. If the data in column, and I want to say column C, these are the assigned testers. So I'll say if the data in column C has a value of, and I'll choose my name, Jason, so let's insert Jason, then I want to report the respective data in column B. I want to report all the open test cases that are currently assigned to Jason. So I'll leave B as the default and select OK. If then can interface and work directly with other applications such as Dropbox, Evernote, Facebook, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Notepad, and Internet Explorer. It's easy to see why many consider If Then to be the ultimate Microsoft Excel add-in for office management, business and data analysis, metrics, trending, project management, and of course, having fun. In this example, to complete my logical operation, I want to automatically create a Microsoft Outlook task. So basically, my logical operation is as follows. If the values of column C are equal to JSON, then I want to automatically create a Microsoft Outlook task. So I'll select Add a Task to Microsoft Outlook. 
Here I'm presented with a recipe naming screen where I can name my logical operation. It's by default automatically named as the name of the file, the type of action and trigger automatically selected, and it's also free text so I could enter additional information as needed. But I'll save the default and click OK. I'm now presented with the confirmation screen confirming my logic that it has been created and is available for use. So basically I'm following the file the trigger I selected is if column x equal y, and the action I selected is to automatically create an Outlook task. Running a previously created logical operation is very simple. From the main menu, simply select on My Logical Operations. Here I'm presented with a listing of all of the logical operations that I previously created. In this example, I only have one that I just recently created. I can select it from the list and then select Run Selected Operation. I can then see immediately I'm presented with the Microsoft Outlook task reminder pop-up letting me know that a new task has been created. I can open this item to see the details. Here we can see what if then add in for Excel actually did. It scanned the Excel file for all entries in column C, looked for the value of JSON, and if that was a true hit, then it reported the additional column that we selected. So here we can see this is very powerful. Uh, in a normal situation, multiple users would have to tediously remember to routinely access and edit a file in order to get insight on the status of line items. In this example, using if then, with one click and without even opening that said file, we have a logical operation that can be run every single day at the click of a button and provide us with the actionable information that we need, such as how many items are left to be taken care of and assigned to me. Distilling actionable information in this manner is not cost effective and is very inefficient if a user has to manually open the file just to retrieve the information. Conversely, using the Excel add-in entitled as If Then, we can easily get that information at the click of a button. The If Then add-in also contains a built-in notification screen where a user can quickly get information right from the dialog itself. So in this example, I can click on My Notifications and I can see a detailed run of all of the information that has been provided to me via the If Then add-in. We can easily see that there were two recent hits for the Excel file that I was following where cell address in column C had a value of JSON. Again, the simplicity is the key. This is very powerful. This provides another method of obtaining actionable information from an Excel file without having to ever open that Excel file. Now we can have a bit of fun. If then also interfaces with Dropbox, Evernote, Facebook, etc. So in this example, I'll create a quick logical operation showing how we can interface with one of those social sites and cloud storage applications. Select the Get Started in order to follow a file. In this example, I'll follow the Excel file that we previously followed. Select the file, select OK. Choose a particular if statement. In this case, I'll say if the value of cell X equals Y, then perform an action. The file opens up in the background so I can quickly choose how I want my logic to be set up. And in this case, I want to say if the value of cell address uh, let's make it very simple. Let's say if the value of column A5, cell address A5, so that we know that's 104, so I'll say A5, if it has a value of 1004, but in reality this could be anything we wanted it to be, but I'm just making it a very simple uh, demonstration. So if the cell address A5 has a value of 1004, then we want to do something. In this case, let's uh, post a status update to Facebook. So since this is the first time that we've run an, uh, a logical operation that connects the face,